Did you know that there's one very simple thing you can do to help you achieve maximum performance on the badminton court? This one thing is often overlooked but is such an essential part of a badminton athlete. Hi, I'm Coach Kenya Sunshon and I've been a professional badminton coach for many years. This channel is all about helping you improve your badminton game. So if there's anything specific that you want to learn, please tell me about it on the comment section below. You may have mastered all the basic shots in badminton and you may have learned the best strategies to use on court. But you will not be able to reach your full potential if you don't attend to the demands of your body. One thing that a lot of players tend to neglect is hydration. In this video, I'll tell you why you cannot play your best if you do not hydrate enough. Hydration is very, very important for everyone. Whether you're a non-athlete or all the more if you're an athlete and competing in a high level, all the more you have to be conscious of your water intake. My players can attest to that, that I always remind them to be hydrated and to drink a lot before, during, and after training. Why do I say before? Sometimes we get on court thinking that we're okay, we're fine, and then all of a sudden, we immediately feel so easily tired, like you know, we just started the game and our muscles are sore already. Sometimes it's because of lack of hydration. So you have to be very, very careful that going into training or going into competitions so that you are well hydrated. Now, when I say during, that means when you're doing those training, especially when you're doing hard training, to be conscious to have some water intake in between. Now, I know some people don't like drinking a lot of water simply because they feel heavy in their tummies. Well, that's okay. Try to just wet your lips a bit, drink a little, but you have to drink, okay? You can't go on a full training or hours of continuous training without actually drinking even a sip of water. Okay, so it's very important that you take note of that. Make it a habit so when you're practicing, even in competitions, remind yourself to hydrate. And definitely, after, after training, after competitions, you have to replenish everything that you have lost, everything that you have used up, especially if you're the very sweaty kind. So... If you're the very sweaty athlete, which a lot of us are, then all the more you have to continuously hydrate yourselves. Now, putting in fluids in our body, of course, I would always go for water. Okay, water and all the natural drinks that you possibly can think of, such as coconut water. I, I specifically love coconut water because it's really really good and you really feel refreshed so coconut water is very good although i do understand that some people don't like the taste maybe they don't have access to immediately get you know coconut water so another way is to you know um put oral rehydration salt in your water okay but these things of course i would like you to consult a professional a doctor a physical therapist who can give you the right amount of what to take okay in terms of fluid especially again if you've always experienced muscle soreness if you somehow can't pinpoint what is wrong you've been training you've been training well you've been training a lot but every now and then your muscles feel sore to the point of like cramping so it's good if you consult a professional and ask them for the dosage of how much you would take now personally i am not a fan of energy drinks simply because i feel that your energy shoots up but then it also goes down immediately so i would rather take um uh, natural fluids 
or certain drinks, of course, please check what you drink. And of course, again, ask the experts on what to take. So what's the worst, you know, scenario if you don't hydrate yourselves well? Well, of course, you can, you know, um, have cramps in different areas of your body. You can hyperventilate, meaning you're, you're lacking in oxygen and, you know, your body is overheating. And so those things can happen. Um, another, you know, I don't mean to scare you, but of course, organs can fail as well. If it's too much and if you've always been doing it, like you'd exert so much um, effort in playing or training and not drinking enough, sometimes your organs can fail too. So do watch out. Having enough water intake is very, very important. Of course, when we say it's very, very important, if you want to finish a match, a game, a competition, uh, you know, in good form, with a good thinking mind, again, it all boils down to being well hydrated. Because if your body is so tired already, no matter what your mind, what your brain tries to tell your body, it's not going to happen anymore. So sometimes... You can't even think straight because you're too tired, you're too dehydrated. And in some ways, an athlete would experience this every now and then. Another reminder is that when you do take um, fluids, when you drink water, do not take it in one big you know, portion of it. Try to you know, split it out in the entire day. Like for, for example, in training, you can um, just take some sip in between, in between strokes, in between drills. You know, you, some people really don't like drinking because it makes them feel heavy. So drink a little each time just to, you know, um, put in a little fluid in your body. But make sure if you're that type of person or that type of player, after you train, you have to replenish. Okay? So again, even when you replenish, not in one big portion be conscious of the time that you drink your water. So how can you tell when you are dehydrated without, you know, sometimes not really feeling your muscles sore? Sometimes you'll feel like your tongue, your mouth is dry. You'll feel um, a little bit thirstier than usual. Sometimes um, you would even experience headache or feel lethargic. So when you get into th these state, you must you know be conscious to look back and see if your water intake was enough so of course stressing on the importance of hydration if we do not take care of our um, water intake then there could be a reduction in our blood volume there could be decreased sweat rate increase in pore temperature increase in muscle glycogen so when these things happen these will all contribute to our performance. That's why I keep stressing that it may be overlooked. Um, people don't uh, think of it as much or especially in the younger players. They don't really consciously make that effort, but it does play a part. And of course, it's not only the physical, but even the mental side of it is affected. Like, of course, um, when our bodies feel lethargic and you know um it's it's not functioning as normal or as fast then we would have slower reaction we would have increase in fatigue and of course poor concentration games training and any workout sessions now that you know how important hydration is to your game it's time to focus on your nutrition the video on your screen will show you what kind of diet is helpful to badminton players. Catch my next video so you can level up your game and become a smashing success.